This man spent 14 years on death row for a crime he didn't commit. In 2004, in Altamonte Springs, Clemente Aguirre stumbled upon a scene that would alter the course of his life forever. He had gone to the victim's house, seeking nothing more than a cold beer after a night of drinking. But what he found was far more chilling. Two women lay lifeless, Cheryl Williams and her mother, Carol Barace. Their blood stained the floor, and Aguirre's attempt to check if they were breathing only smeared his clothes with their blood. Fearful of deportation as an undocumented immigrant, he hesitated. Panic clouded his judgment, and he didn't call the police. Instead, he tried to hide the evidence, the knife and his blood-soaked clothes. Fast forward to 2006, and Aguirre was convicted and sent to death row. In 2016, new DNA testing revealed the real perpetrator, Samantha Williams, the victim's daughter and granddaughter. The evidence was compelling, and the Florida Supreme Court unanimously overturned Aguirre's conviction and death sentence. After nearly a decade on death row, he walked free, 